Delirium means that uh, you have a sudden change in thinking that's usually due to a medical illness. Uh, it is something that fluctuates, so people can come into the hospital and be totally fine one hour and then very, very confused uh, the next. Most commonly, it does affect our seniors' population. Just coming into the hospital and being in a different environment that's disorienting, uh, that can be a big cause of delirium. Changes to medication, withdrawal from medication, any acute illness. Uh, in order to prevent delirium, we have to be vigilant about a few things. So number one is treating the medical cause. And number two is really mobilizing patients and making sure that people are awake as much as possible during the day and sleeping at night. On our floor, we have a 10 at 10 delirium management class twice a week. Um, it really is the whole team that makes the class happen. And we find that even if patients aren't excited about doing an exercise class, they are excited about the social interaction. So they'll come and join us for the class. They like listening to the music. Um, they see other patients who are on the floor. They get to know the team. And then slowly over time, they do open up to some of the light exercises that are happening. And actually, because it's something that happens on a regular basis, a lot of times it's maybe the first thing that some of my patients who are delirious will remember. And then they start looking forward to it as time goes on. And sometimes they'll even ask for song requests or certain exercises that they enjoyed. It is incredibly important, not only because it actually physically helps the patients to resolve their delirium and prevent it, but it also helps to create awareness within our staff that uh, stimulation mobility is something very important in the hospital. The hospital is not a place to stay in bed with the lights off. The hospital is a place to recover, but in doing so, maintaining your mobility and function, and 10 to 10 helps to accomplish that.